My name is Magdalene Mweli. I am the governor's advisor of Kisi. I advise him about gender, HIV, AIDS, and persons with disabilities. Before, I've been a business lady, and still I am. I have lived with people who are HIV positive, widows, young ladies, children, and orphans. What we have tried to do, not me alone, but with the other ladies and the few men, we have been trying to change the lives of these children, the lives of these ladies, and to give them a, a better future. I have, supported, I have supported them to do businesses like small businesses, like selling round nuts, vegetables, tomatoes, onions, and they sell just across the roads. You come out of your house, you go to the next road, you put a table and you display your, your goods and the passers by. From the little money they get, they are able to take their children to school, to buy uniforms for children and also food. These widows, mostly in, in Kenya now, nearly 75% women are widows because men Men did not want to take air fees. So men die and they leave women. In my place, nearly, when you meet 20 women, you find only five have husbands. So 15 don't have husbands. And then when you ask them, they say, my husband was coughing, he was diarrheaing, he had, he was vomiting, and when I started that, I went to the hospital. I was tested and I was HIV positive. Uh, when ladies hear that they are HIV positive and they, they are going to die, they will do anything to, to be alive so that they can take care of their children. Uh, this is a very poor, country. Men domain in getting title deeds. Very poor, very few women have land of their own. This could be about 10% of women. And those women who have title deeds are the women who are enlightened, who have gone to school, who have jobs, who can be able to buy land from their own salaries. Otherwise, even it is only recently that the government passed a law whereby ladies also can be allowed to have uh, land in their homes. Now, time has come for our women to stand up like working women to support these young women who are coming up and to support also those women who never went to school who cannot speak even one word of english to support them so that they can start businesses small businesses of their own like when you have a, a property you you can't go to any bank and they be given reasonable money if you don't put correct law. You have to put a, a, a title, you have to put your land, you have to put your building to be able to secure a good loan. Uh, for, for a long time now, I've been managing reasonable loans and they enable me to do work. That's why I've been able to have story buildings, I have had a fleet of uh, transports. 
to one the pie things from outside like rice like sugar like any other thing like iron sheets then you are able to compete with men and Asian community who are in the in Kisi counts. If you are not empowered, you cannot compete with men. And usually men don't love women who work hard. They don't love women who, who are doing business. Even you get the competition from your own husband, your own family members. When they see you prospering, they fear. They fear women. That's why even now Kenya and the kiss in particular, we have never had women who have gone to parliament except the affirmative action, which gave a seat for women representatives. Our kiss culture are, are very difficult, especially when it comes to tradition. They don't believe that a woman can rule. They don't believe that a woman can own land. There is a lot we have to change our young people. Our young people need a lot of education. Even now, when it is time for elections, your husband wakes up very early in the morning and tells you, you woman, you are going to vote. Make sure you vote for John. Do you hear that? And then a woman fears, thinks that the man is behind her, and the man will know that he did not vote for John, he voted for Josephine. So we need support, we need um, workshops to help our people to learn and stand for themselves. <laughs>